Okay, so we're out uh, on our new property. We're checking out this uh, zone of mineralization. Uh, it comes in stringer veins in this uh, schisthaus rock. You can see the rock is uh, quite oxidized in certain areas, and then you have your uh, your sulfide staining um, on the rock as well. So this is near an old VMS deposit, and uh, this is a newly exposed area by a logging company, and uh, they exposed all these small veins and um, rock with uh, disseminations. It's mainly pyrite, calcopyrite, and galena. Uh, we have not assayed this yet, so we're going to send in a sample and uh, see what we get out of it. You can see that's pretty much a solid mineral vein, so this is probably going to be a, one of the samples that we send in. Mainly looks like pyrite and calcopyrite in this. Anyway, we'll check out uh, the rest of this outcrop and see if we can find anything else. So you can see uh, the rock has uh, some pyrite and calcopyrite. It's mainly disseminations, doesn't look like there's any solid vein here. It looks like you got a bit of quartz in here. Looks like this is uh, more calcopyrite than pyrite. Got some quartz in there. Don't think it's uh, worthwhile to sample that though. Okay, so you got another vein here. Looks like you got some quartz in there, uh, along with the uh, mineralization. Looks like the vein uh, gets quite a bit bigger. As it dips down, so we'll sample this and uh, send this in. So this area is uh, pretty rich for uh, gold, silver, and copper. Doesn't look like there's going to be that much copper in here. Um, we'll see when we get the results back. Yeah, so this mainly looks like it's uh, pyrite mineralization. Alright, so that's all for now.